Horses are seen as the finest of animals, and it's easy to see why. Depending on which scientific accounts you believe, they've been man's original best friend for over thousands of years, since anywhere from 4000 to 2000 BC. They've taken us wherever we've asked them to, including the fields of battle. Yet we're here in the 21st century still wondering how noble these horses are. Want to know more? Be sure to stay tuned until the end of this video so you won't miss anything. Welcome to Animals Wow TV. Sit back, relax, and let's ride on. In the past, when automobiles and other vehicles were not invented, some animals were used for transportation. Those animals include donkeys, camels, elephants, horses, etc. The most useful and important one was the horse, which is also a pet animal. People used to travel from one place to the other via horses because it was a comfortable and fast way of traveling those days. Not only for traveling, horses were also used for transferring luggage from one place to another. Despite this, horses had very much importance in ancient culture, society, and economy. In fact, horses not only had an important role in the past, but also have much importance today. The nature of the horse, however, has changed in different societies across time. Sometimes horses were seen as war animals, while in other places and periods, their use was the privy of royalty. The horse today is often seen as an animal useful for recreation, sport, transport, and work. And now, people use it to protest. Do you remember the deadhead cowboy that went viral online last year after he rode his horse on the Dan Ryan Expressway? Meet Adam Hollingsworth, dubbed as the Census Cowboy for his work with Mayor Lori Lightfoot to boost census participation in Chicago to protest. What are the details? According to a report from WTTW-TV, Hollingsworth rode the horse for more than seven miles on the Dan Ryan Expressway during Monday's impromptu protest. The horse, which was reportedly not outfitted with proper shoes for concrete, runs for about an hour. It didn't have proper shoes for walking on concrete, much more on running. Think about this. The average horse racetrack is about one mile, and it's soft dirt and the longest is two. Given the fact that the horse was unconditioned and was forced to run for seven and a half miles, just imagine how a horse would react. It's indeed equivalent to forcing an 80-year-old woman to run a marathon. According to the outlet, Hollingsworth said he rode the horse on the Dan Ryan Expressway during rush hour to support the Kids Lives Matter movement. Because if you look up the, the history when it comes down to a kid getting killed, 2020 is the high rate when it comes down to... Which aims to raise awareness and motivate residents to fill out the census to help communities receive better funding. He even broadcast on Facebook Live and many onlookers were concerned for New News Health and safety instead. The protest is in response to children killed by gun violence, according to the Block Club Chicago. Witnesses to the Dan Ryan Expressway even saw the incident that Hollingsworth was kicking and lashing the horse to keep it moving when it slowed due to its weariness and injuries. The horse was taken in by emergency vets for treatment of acute dehydration, hyperthermia, and lacerations in its front legs that produced profuse bleeding. Mayor Lightfoot's office issued a statement condemning Hollingworth's stunt. According to a statement coming from the mayor's office, there is a right way and a wrong way to call attention to issues of great importance, and this stunt was decidedly the very wrong way. Yes, it is. If you ride horses or work in the horse industry, you will undoubtedly be asked whether it's cruel to ride horses. It may cause you or others to really consider the ethical value of horseback riding. But the solution, it's not as simple as many people believe. Riding horses is not cruel if it's done correctly. Understanding how riding affects horses and acquiring the proper riding technique are essential for cruelty-free cowboy riding. Hollingsworth was charged with a felony count of aggravated cruelty to an animal, as well as misdemeanor counts of reckless conduct, trespassing, and other traffic-related offenses. At the time of this reporting, the horse remains in critical condition and will never be able to be ridden again. He shouldn't have been riding that road in the first place. The horse was in pain and exhausted because he did not properly put the ropes and saddle on and the hooves against the pavement, so it didn't have the energy to freak out. And if you look carefully, he was bouncing pretty hard on the horse's back, which from what I read, had also severely injured its back. The horse may also have to be euthanized due to its injuries and due to the suffering the animal will likely endure for the rest of its life. 
Riding horses may be considered cruel by some. If he really knows what he's doing and puts his horse's needs first, then riding horses isn't cruel. True cowboys listen to their horses, care for them like they would their own children, and do whatever is needed to keep their horse riding pain and cruelty free. Sadly, it seems his protest was useless. All this person did was draw attention to a dangerous and inhumane stunt that put an animal and human lives at risk. His intentions were pure, I just think he wasn't well informed on how to go about it. Horses are one of the most important symbols of freedom. They like to be free and wander about where they want. Riding a horse represents having this freedom for what he's aiming for too. Alright, that's it for today guys. What do you think about this man riding a horse in the middle of the highway? Be sure to write in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. Don't forget to smash that like button. See you in the next video and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care.